Welcome back to the channel BB Star. Today, we're wrapping up the engines and plunging headfirst into the turbocharged world of car restoration TV. But hold on to your seats because we're about to peel back the layers of a mystery that's been sparking debates hotter than burning rubber on the tarmac. That's right, folks. We're diving deep into the enigma surrounding the one and only Mike Brewer from Wheeler Dealers. Why, oh why, does it seem like no one wants to ride shotgun with this automotive icon. Is it the dazzling spotlight, the white knuckle pressure, or perhaps something lurking in the shadows? Buckle up as we shift gears and unveil the untold stories and secrets behind this burning secret. You won't believe the ride we're about to take you on. Let's start our journey by rewinding the odometer and cruising back to where it all began for our crazy protagonist, Mike Brewer. From a young age, Mike didn't just have a passion for cars, he had a knack for selling them too. His talent caught the attention of many, propelling him from the sidelines of small-time car trading to becoming a household name among gearheads everywhere. But Mike's leap onto the small screen wasn't scripted from the get-go. His stint under the spotlight was with a show called Driven, where he shared his burning love for automobiles with a wider audience. However, it was Wheeler Dealers that truly revved his engine and put him on the map. Oh, this show, Mike's wizardry in finding, fixing, and flipping cars was nothing short of legendary, making him and the show a turbocharged hit among car enthusiasts worldwide. Wheeler Dealers isn't just your run-of-the-mill car show. It's a high-octane adventure into the world of buying, fixing, and selling cars for profit. The magic lies not only in the grease-stained hands, but also in the genuine passion for cars that Mike Brewer and his team bring to the screen. This authenticity has attracted petrol heads from every corner of the globe turning in for the ride of their lives. Along the way, Mike has teamed up with some memorable co-pilots who've helped steer the show to victory lap after victory lap. Ed China and, and Ant Anstead are two names that stand out, each bringing their own flair and charm to the wheelers dealers garage. But as we know, even the smoothest ride can hit fewer speed bumps. When Ed China decided to take his leap from wheeler dealers, it sent shockwaves through the fa fandom. Speculations ran wild. Was there friction between Ed and Mike? Did the wheels come off the wagon? And when Ant Anstead followed suit, bidding farewell to the show due to filming location changes, tongue wagged even more feverishly. Yet through it all, Mike Brewer remained the consummate professional, steering clear of drama and staying focused on his true love, Cars. With the introduction of Mark Priestley as a new co-pilot, Wheeler Dealers hit the nitrous button on excitement. Mark's expertise and dynamic personality injected a fresh surge of adrenaline into the show, proving that even with a change in the lineup, the heart of Wheeler Dealers beats stronger than ever. So to all of the naysayers who claim nobody wants to ride shotgun with Mike Brewer, we say this, buckle up and take a closer look. Wheeler Dealers continues to be a roaring success, a testament to the dedication and hard work of Mike and his crew. Don't get caught up in the smoke and mirrors. Instead, let's appreciate the blood, sweat, and motor oil that go into creating such a beloved series. After all, in the world of car restoration TV, there's always another thrilling chapter waiting to unfold. 